Welcome back to ESBR Boxing's YouTube channel. I'm delighted, as always, to be joined by Paul Kelly. This is a reaction video to the news that came out last night. Fabio Wardley and Fraser Clark will rematch after their thriller back in March at the O2 in, in London. Rematch is taking place on the undercard of Arta Baturbia versus Dimitri Bivol on October the 12th. Paul, it's look, it's the fight, it's the rematch we wanted. It's um it's it's a, it's a big fight, it's a big fight in the heavyweight division. There's a little bit to unpack here, but what's, what's your immediate reaction to this fight being made official and, and getting over the line? Yeah, mate, thanks for having me on as always. I'm, I'm delighted that these two are dancing again, to be honest with you. I think first fight was just unbelievable. It was it was class. Um obviously the you know, the draw, so it would make sense to have the immediate rematch. You know, it was a bloodbath that that fight as well. It was just simply incredible. Um, yeah, I, it, it, I'm really, I'm really happy that these two are fighting again. I think we doubt, you know, let's be honest, both of them probably wanted it after the way the first fight went. Both probably felt that they maybe won the first fight. You know, Fraser Clark obviously did get knocked down and then had the point deducted. But had it not been for the point deduction, maybe he would, he would have maybe got the win. I think he would have actually with the scorecards. Um. And yeah, if you're Fabio Worley, you're thinking, you know, I knocked him down. Just, uh, you, you know, he probably thinks that if, if he was to fight him again, he could probably get the stoppage this time around. So I, I yeah, I'm, I'm all for it, mate. Massive fight um, on a big card. You know, you, you can't you can't argue that it's a 50-50, especially after the first one. Um, say, you know, on, on the card of this magnitude, it's good to have a real 50-50 um, scrap, especially the fact that it's, um, a fight between two former opponents. There's a bit of a rivalry there. There's narrative. Uh, it was a draw first time around, and it's heavyweights as well. So yeah, I, mean, I I'm all for it. Um, I'm just happy that it's finally been officially announced. Yeah, it's fantastic, and I think that sometimes in boxing, things don't make sense when things happen. But I just feel like for a change, the right thing to happen here was a rematch, considering it was a draw and a great fight, and we're getting that immediately. There's no kind of Let's let's marinate the rematch. Let's kind of let's go in different routes and then we'll meet together in a couple of years. There's none of that. We're going straight into a rematch. And it's 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 fantastic. And I think look, we've had a fight of the year. I think that's it's possibly going to be the best fight to take place in Britain um this year, back in March. And it could be look, it could be one of the best fights to take place outside of Britain in in, in October. So we'll see. Um how when when that first fight happened, Paul, did you have an opinion on who you thought won? I think it was really tough. I was lucky enough to be ringside that night and it felt like not too many people had a problem with it being a draw. However, I felt like most people, if you had said to them, right, if you if there had to be a winner, who would it be? I think most people would have said Fraser Clark, if I'm being honest. But um, what's, what's your opinion on the first fight? Yeah, so... I think I did, if I can recall, I think I did just edge it towards Fraser Clark. However, uh, you you know me, Mister. I'm not I'm not not biased at all. I think going into the fight, I had predicted Fraser Clark to win, so I was maybe maybe have my Fraser Clark tinted glasses on a little bit. But no, in all seriousness, it was I I completely agree with what you say. I mean, a draw was a fair result. I think, yeah, I'll maybe just give it towards um Fraser Clark, but it's not any more than like you know. 52 48 or what kind of thing it wasn't like it was a wasn't like it was a robbery or anything yeah. um yeah as i said i think both men felt like they probably won it you know it's but you know like like wardley yeah more people are maybe saying that um clark won but if you're wardley you're thinking i got the knockdown and all there i deserve and um, i deserve that win but yeah I mean, it's just it's just hoping that second time around the fight lives up to expectation and yeah hopefully this time around, whether it be Wardley or Clark, we do get a definitive winner. Yeah, look, I think, as I said, look, on the night, I don't think there was anybody kicking off about it being a draw. Um, I think, look, maybe you mentioned earlier in the video, Fraser Clark had that point deducted, and I'm sure he kicks himself about having that point deducted because that meant he didn't win, really meant he, meant he didn't win the fight. And I think on the other hand, Fraser Clark will be confident that he nearly got the job done. Uh, however, F Fabio Wardley not, did, you know, he did knock him down. Fabio Wardley is argu arguably the bigger puncher. And yeah, look, I just think it's a really, it's just, a re I'm just so happy this has gotten over the line because I would have been so disappointed if we had seen both fighters kind of fight lesser opponents 
in October, November time. I just think it would have been a bit of a waste of time. We really need to see this rematch. Um, going to ask you what your thoughts are now, Paul. I know I feel like you always feel bad asking this, especially when it's a tricky fight. I'm going to give you the option not to give a prediction just because I think it's tricky and this is quite raw and you've got time to to think of one. We've got, what, around around six weeks until fight night. But if you do have a gut feeling, what what, what is it? Yeah, I mean, it's really difficult. As you said, I might chop and change my prediction 10 times between now and, and October time. But right now, I'm sticking with what I thought the first fight and I'm edging Fraser Clark. Having watched the first fight, I wouldn't... I don't think he could stop Fabio Worley. I don't know, probably not, you know. I haven't think it could go the distance. Um but I think that I think that Fraser Clark is the better all round boxer and fighter. But in saying that, you know, the, there is a little bit of doubt in my mind because Worley's the younger fighter and there's probably more mm. room for improvement. So if he does improve, he is that fresher fighter. Clark's not a young fighter. We all know that. He turned over very late. Um, from the amateurs, but yeah, right now, come to my head, mate. I am edging Fraser Clark points. What about you? Yeah, oh man, um, I will edge towards Fabio Wardley on points. I just think it's 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 you mentioned the word improvement there, and I think that's that's key here. But I don't know. It'll be interested to see look when the when the odds come out. Who, if there is a favorite, I'm not convinced there will be. I think it could just yeah. be. Pretty similar to both fighters, but we'll see. I think, but that's I look. I love fights like this when you've got you could put ten boxing fans in a room, and there's a good chance five are going to say Wardley, five are going to say Clark. Um, and look, it's an undercard fight as well. That's the crazy. That's 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 the crazy thing. This all kind of happened midway through, midway through the evening as we warm up to Arto Patovia versus Dimitri Bivol. Fingers crossed, we get a repeat of the entertainment levels back in March. I think that's kind of. Personally, I think that's that's the most important thing. Paul, good to be joined by you. Big, big undercard happening on October the 12th. Um, yeah, on the undercard of our Turbo Turbia versus Dimitri Bivol. Other fights to look forward to as well. If you've enjoyed this video, please do check out the rest of the content on our channel and subscribe if you haven't done so already. Paul, good to be joined by you. I will speak to you again very soon. That's what, mate. All the best. Cheers.